Hygiene procedures are paramount for the control of plant pests, pathogens and weeds in any production nursery, green life market and growing media manufacturer. Effective hygiene and disinfestation protocols must be developed to successfully control biosecurity issues in high-risk production situations. High-risk areas can include propagation facilities, growing media storage and handling facilities and used growing containers. The following video describes the disinfestation procedures that can be applied within production systems. When disinfesting machinery, follow all safety protocols and safe operating procedures. When handling chemicals, follow all label and safety data sheet requirements and ensure appropriate personal protective equipment is worn. Only fresh made disinfectant solutions should be used, as pre-mixed and stored disinfectant solutions may not work effectively. Diluted chlorine solutions are particularly unstable and should be made up fresh daily. Undiluted chlorine should be stored out of direct sunlight in a cool room, preferably below 28 degrees Celsius. Quaternary ammonium compounds, or quats, are incompatible with most cleaners and detergents and have a low tolerance to hard water. An added benefit of using quats is their ability to leave a residual antimicrobial film on surfaces. At concentrations greater than 1 to 10 parts per million, quats are regarded as highly toxic to some aquatic life forms. A mixture of 70% methylated spirits and 30% clean water can be used as a disinfectant on a variety of hard surfaces. It kills on contact provided it is allowed to dry on the surface being disinfested. Spent disinfectant solutions must be disposed of responsibly as per the product label. All disinfectants require a minimum amount of time in contact with the surface being disinfested, with different chemicals having different contact times. For example, chlorine solutions must remain in contact with the surface to be disinfested for a minimum of 20 minutes and remain in the liquid form for this period. Methylated spirits and water must be allowed to dry on the surface. Recording of disinfestation activities allows traceback of problems in the event of biosecurity issues, and records of chemical use activities should be maintained as required. When applying chemical treatments, remove all dirt and organic material from containers by washing thoroughly. Treat with a disinfectant at the concentration and for the time recommended on the label. Place unstacked containers into the water and disinfectant solution. Ensure all containers are submerged and left in contact with the solution for a minimum of 20 minutes. Containers can also be pasteurised using aerated steam treatment at 60 degrees for 30 minutes. Containers are stacked in the steaming room, vessel or container. The time of treatment commences when the centre of the load of containers reaches 60 degrees Celsius and must remain at this temperature for 30 minutes. Keep all treated plant containers in a clean area away from dirt, runoff water and other contaminants until required. Scrub clean using a scourer or similar product and an approved disinfectant, detergent or 70% methylated spirits, 30% water solution and allow to dry. Make sure no dried sap remains. Rinse in clean disinfested water to remove excess chemical. A squirt bottle may be useful. If knives and instruments are stored in a disinfectant or detergent solution, they should be rinsed in disinfested water before use. Remove all organic matter, including vegetative material, roots and soil from surfaces and rinse the equipment using fresh, clean water. Scrub clean with a brush or pressure clean with an approved disinfectant or detergent all surfaces that come into contact with vegetative propagation material, crop inputs such as growing media, fertiliser and the finished crop. Ensure that any runoff, splash or aerosols do not contaminate adjacent crops, working surfaces and materials.
Remove all organic matter, including vegetative material, roots and soil from surfaces and rinse using fresh, clean water. Scrub clean with a brush or pressure clean with an approved disinfectant or detergent all surfaces that come into contact with vegetative material, crop inputs such as growing media, fertiliser and the finished crop. Treat the surface with a disinfectant at the concentration and for the time recommended on the label or with a solution of 70% methylated spirits and 30% water and allow to dry. Ensure that any runoff water, splash or aerosols do not contaminate adjacent crops, working surfaces and materials. <music> Thoroughly remove spilt growing media, plant debris and organic matter by brushing or washing surfaces to be disinfested. Special attention should be paid to removing waste growing media from cracks and joints. Ensure that any runoff water, splash or aerosols do not contaminate adjacent crops, working surfaces and materials. Use an approved disinfectant or detergent at the label rate to wash down all surfaces. Porous surfaces require more time in contact with the disinfectant, with at least one hour required in most cases. Wood materials can be disinfested by using either heat or disinfectants. When a steam generated heat system is used, timber materials should be spaced to allow steam penetration and the heat treatment applied at 60 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. For disinfectant use, remove all organic material from timber and wood surfaces using fresh clean water. Rinse and scrub prior to using chemical disinfectants or detergents. Apply an approved disinfectant or detergent soak or spray at the label rate to the wood material and allow to dry. The washdown area must be easily accessible, have power and water, prevent contamination of waterways and be on a sealed surface such as bitumen or concrete. Ensure the designated washdown area for vehicles drains to waste and avoids contaminating plant production and storage surfaces with runoff water. <music> sweep out vehicle pantex, trays and beds. Collect sweepings and dispose of appropriately. For example, dispose into rubbish bins or compost. Pre-wash all areas using clean fresh water and scrub or use pressure equipment to remove organic matter including soil and any plant material. Disinfest using an approved surface disinfectant or detergent such as quaternary ammonium compounds or farm cleanse. Focus on trays, tyres, wheel wells and under vehicle components. Complete the vehicle inspection record. Remove attachment parts and covers to access all component areas. Remove by hand or sweep loose organic matter from machinery and dispose of appropriately. Pre-wash all areas using clean fresh water and scrub or use pressure equipment to remove organic matter including soil and any plant material. Disinfest using an approved surface disinfectant or detergent such as quaternary ammonium compounds or farm cleanse. Focus on trays, tyres, wheel wells and under vehicle components. Complete the vehicle inspection record. When a problem arises, document the situation by completing a corrective action report. This report documents key non-conformances as well as what actions were taken to correct the problem and prevent a recurrence. Dispose of any used disinfectants according to the label directions. To minimise the transfer of pests and diseases throughout the production system, it is necessary to clean a variety of surfaces. This treatment needs to be recorded to validate the activity and ensure compliance. The information that needs to be included is the business name and address, the treatment date, the surface or material treated, the treatment type used and the name of staff undertaking the treatment. A range of publications and resources on nursery hygiene and sanitation are available on the NGIA website. 
More information can be found in the Biosecure HACCP guidelines. This video has been produced by the Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland and supported by the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia and Horticulture Australia Limited. Special thanks go to the following nurseries for help in producing this video. For further information, contact your state or territory association or NGIA.